You may have noticed that we haven't been showcasing any caravan off-roading expeditions of late. And we've been mainly featuring our boat and truck travels. That's because we have no caravan. Yep, that's right. We are officially homeless. This is a very sad time for us, as this caravan was supposed to be our forever van. But unfortunately, the caravan gods had other plans for it. The life and the memories will be forever etched in ours and our children's brains. So we'll miss you, house. Let's take a moment to watch and appreciate the last hurrah to our old home on wheels. We're beginning you here with our home videos of just after the moment we found out we had just a few hours to move out of our van and return it to the manufacturer. Say goodbye to your beds. Goodbye to bed. Goodbye to my bed. Goodbye to my dummies. 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 You want to give you a better kiss? I'll give you a better kiss. Because this is the last time we see this bed. Bye bye. He doesn't know. You're happy with it, aren't you? Goodbye, house. So bye bye bed, give you better kiss. So bye give you bed. better kiss. <laughs> Good boy. Bye bed, bye house. Evie, don't act like you slept in that bed every night. Look at it. Yeah. It's so old. It's not even old. I know. It's not even it's like six months, but I don't know. Good riddance house. <laughs> Oh, it's crap because it was like bittersweet. Yeah, no one won out of this. It's crap. What do you do? Win something, lose some. You should see the one that we're getting built now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, onwards and upwards. Not gonna let this be to say, babe. Yeah. I'm saying that I'm going over nap. I'm defeated. <laughs> officially homeless, how do you feel? <laughs> Home is not the place you live in. Home is the people that surround you, yeah. wherever you are. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and all the people home. that surround you don't have a house, so they're homeless, <laughs> right? <laughs> Jackson was bloody right. We were homeless. Everything you see here are all our belongings, our life just stacked there in the back of this box trailer. This moment was so surreal for us. 
This is not how we thought our day would turn out when we left home this morning. Homeless. Almost there. Hi, Brett. <laughs> Is that your home? You like it? <laughs> it's nice. It's a little bit red. <laughs> that sits on level. <laughs> you think it needs airbags. <laughs> we won't be able to take that off road. And bigger tyres. This has got indicators. That's what I was thinking. Oh, that's so good. Whatever. What do you do? <laughs> you smile. Yeah. You smile. Oh, and um, is there something wrong with this? Yitch. We took off with our belongings and life in tow, not sure where the next roof would come from or what we were going to do about a house. But let's hold it there for a minute and rewind to a few days prior when we had just begun our trip from Exmouth down to Perth in order to meet with the manufacturers of our current caravan. So, slight setback. Our drone decided it didn't want to be a drone anymore, babe. Righto, boys, we're gonna go looking for the drone. Where is it? Is it in the bush? It's in the bush. It fell out of the sky. It wasn't even my fault this time. Something surely had to have attacked it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's in the, get, in the getaway position, in the get go, yeah, get ready. I'll go see it. Go. Yeah, we'll go see it. Have you got your packet of chips, Evie? Flying the drone along. I don't know if something attacked it, but it just spiraled into like, I don't know, death roll mode. Just did an alligator roll. Now we've got, I know it was a fair way back, but we've got that to go and explore and find this bloody drone because they're not cheap. <laughs> oh, another day, babe. Huh? All we needed to do was get to Perth. Actually, we, we're in a bit of a hurry too. Yep, we're very much so in a hurry. All right, let's get going. Let's go, Ellis. How much fun's this? I found it! So we're doing a bit of <laughs> drone sequence to show you guys. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere, driving along a highway and somehow the drone has fallen out of the sky and we've lost it. We've been searching for maybe half an hour now. <laughs> Dad has found it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how this is possible. That's, I'll show you guys. It's pretty mangled and it looks like a gigantic spider, but I found it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's been mangled. I was expecting there to be like a dead bird wrapped around it. Hold it before I cry. It's not good. <laughs> We've been looking for so long. Oh, we're in such a hurry. Ellis, I found it! You can just hear his voice. Oh, yeah. Are you puffing? Yes. <laughs> it's been hard walking, eh? There is literally like bindies. They're huge. Yeah, I stepped on one and it went like away my foot. I, could, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how I can make that focus, but they're big. They're bloody big. Anyway, this drone has seen better days. I mean, at least we've got it. Look, this one's got one, this one's got one. This one doesn't have any. Turns out we need a new drone pilot. We're now hiring because I can't fly. 
Actually, this wasn't was yeah, this one was. I don't know. We'll have to review the footage. So after slowing the footage down, we get a glimpse of what it would be like to skydive, as well as seeing, in fact, that we were attacked by a rather large eagle. Look, it crashed and it broke. Hold it. Oh, we just to fix that. You're gonna, just going to have to fix it, aren't we? Uh, I can fix it. Come on, Walter. Look at the drone, bud. It's broken. Oh no! I have to get this. You must have been far away because I didn't even hear you scream out yes. <laughs> it has seen better days. Do you know that our drone, our other drone, alternate drone to that, is currently at the post office waiting for us to pick it up? We. I planned it like that. We rotate between drones because one always breaks, so we have to send that one back and get this one. You, hang on, Ellis, Wilder's give Wilder turn. a turn on holding it. You can play with that one now, considering it's completely so mangled. was it in a bush? Was it on the ground? Was just it just planted on the ground. Was there a dead bird next to it? No. That's what I said. I was it just fell out of the sky, man. I'll have to, I'll have to show you the footage. It's gnarly. Oh, no, you can have at least it's not a hot day. It's a bloody hot day, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at this dirt. It's like red, brown, earthy, like... It's hot, it's dry, and I've got the whole family looking for my friggin' mistakes. <laughs> and I had to carry the babies the whole way here. Ellis, look. Look. Look at that. It's a goat skull. Can you touch it? Is he, was he trying to walk in there? Yeah, and he died. Yeah, and then he died. And hey, we got him with that is... piece of stick one off his nose when he died. Okay. <laughs> He uses his horns and he's like It's scary. Oh, I wonder how long he's been. Rest easy little mate. Bye bye. I don't even know where we are. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's always eventful with us. Nothing just ever just cruises. But it's the way we like it. It's our life. Oh don't pull it out. Anyway. Let's head back to let's head to Perth. Let's get in the truck boys, let's go! We then continued on our way to a rest stop on the side of the road, where we spent the night and prepared for the rest of our journey. So, here's the deal whilst trying to maintain concentration with children. Me and the wifey and the whole family here have packed up for a 15 hour drive. We started about four hours of it last night to Perth. Hold up, I'm gonna have to stop. I don't think we can go any further than that. We here are speaking about our upcoming meeting and the current situations we were struggling with. We had every intention of telling you guys the reasons as to how we found ourselves in this predicament. We had it all documented, but as it turns out, there's no such thing as free speech left in this world anymore. And as much as we'd like to tell you our story, we're unable, which absolutely sucks. I'm sure one day there will be a time and a place where we can tell this story. But unfortunately, this is not to be the time nor the place. All we know is we are a very resilient family. No matter what happens, you can't beat us down and keep us there. We continue with smiles on our faces every day and live an absolute dream in doing so. Cannot thank the people around us enough who were able to support us through this mess. But onward and upward, this is the rest of our homeless story. Anyway, where uh, how many more hours we got, Kyla? We took off from Exmouth last night with our destination of Perth. We travelled just four hours into the night to make it to this overnight rest stop on the side of the road. We then had another 4.5 hours to Geraldton to get presents for Ellis's birthday, which was in a few days. We will stay the night here and fang it to Perth the next day, which will be about another four to five hour drive, where we'll pick up my mum from the airport. Our hope is to make a whirlwind trip out of this one, have our meeting, then head straight back up to Exmouth where we left off and celebrate Ellis's birthday with family and friends. This was not to be the case, however. 
Yukane? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy reading up. The book might or might not be upside down, but he's going to... What's that? <laughs> the, uh, that's just the title page. <laughs> this kid's playing with the ice maker. <laughs> I'm here. And I'm here. Evie's, Evie's still asleep. <laughs> but in the interest of wrapping this conversation up, yes. we're pushing it as far as humanly possible, as far as the kids can manage. We've got a crappy meeting to be had. We've got. This is the joys of not being a. What's it called? When you're not sponsored, associated oh, with companies. Right. Not affiliated. Not affiliated, you know what I mean? You can. Yeah. We deal with the same problems everyone else you know, Everyone else deals with, 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 you know what I mean? Anyways, we're. Uh, we're in for the long haul this morning. We're driving a long, long way. And as you can see, we're on the side of the road in like a dirt gravel patch. Boys, where's Ellis? There he is. All right, Evie, let's get going. Stop eating. Are you driving or am I driving? No driving. I always got a bloody drive. You're driving. <laughs> Why are you driving? Why are you driving? I can drive. You can drive. Do you want me to drive? Yeah. I bet he won't let me drive. You look so brown. Yeah, you said that. You're glowing. You got Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, not proud for a pregnant duck. Show us your baby bump. It's not great, that last one. All right, everyone in the truck, let's go. Let's go. That wasn't it. Let's go! Go, 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 go! So this is the point in time that we had our meeting and came to the realisation that the only way forward for us was to receive a full refund of our current home and leave it there and then. We celebrated Ellis's birthday, albeit in an Airbnb with none of the plans we had originally made. Dropped Nana back to the airport and moved our stuff from one trailer to a house to another trailer and ended up here in this quaint little seaside town, just north of Perth. He's found the toys. They've left us Tim Tams. Oh no, no, they messaged and said those Tim Tams that are here aren't for you guys. Ellis comes in and he goes, look at that big TV. Yeah, look at that TV. I don't think you can see the TV like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Dad's 744, and that's the same size as you. It's unbearable useful house. <laughs> Boys, please don't break everything 30 seconds in. Oh, Wilder already found the balls. Where's my bed? Where's my bed? It's like old but like real peachy. You can sleep right there. Yeah, okay, so much room for activity. Oh my god, a bed. <laughs> you don't even see it. A bed. Bed. Caravan. Okay, not a very. It was never a very good bed. <laughs> That's we, not even an exaggeration. We'd wake up with a headache every morning. And my neck wouldn't move. I had to move like that until like nine a.m. until I could stretch it out. Who are you on the phone to, Cobb? Wow. She's done. Oh, that's for the boys. I'm very happy with this place. Oh my god! What? Where are you? It's no, so that is our bed. Jackson, you were in the wrong bed. You were in the wrong bed. That one's got a TV though. Look, you like stink. Oh my gosh, there's no room. Like this well. Mom, like this. Get out of my bed. I just want to look at the washing machine. No, that, this one's my bed. Yeah, this one's my bed. You can sleep on the couch. They've got 7.5 kilo washing machine. How big is yours? 3.5. <gasps> That's the biggest washing machine I've ever seen. In our house, house before we took off, we had 8.5 little oh, washing machine loaders. But this is the biggest like, loader I've ever seen. Only because I just didn't see washing machines anymore. <laughs> Hello. The little things. Oh, the little things. Let's put an air conditioner on. You reckon they, they, reckon they, don't, oh, they do have an air conditioner. Yep. Just I'll turn the inverter on, babe. Just wait. <laughs> solar, for that. solar? You mean battery? Yeah, battery. We've got um, we've got 600 amps at 240 straight from the grid, babe. Yes. Let me swear. Oh, a fireplace. All right, that's another good side. Let's go outside. I'm, yeah. I feel fun about it. This is so cute, though. I'll bring all the clothes in. Yeah. Oh, what do we do first? Can we sit down? Mama. Mind you, we've already been driving for two hours. What's inside this? Well, let me see. After the excitement of living in a house settled a bit, we prepared some quick and easy lunch for the kids and had a bit of quiet time. I just wanted some alone time. Now my alone time has turned into you and thousands of people watching me and watching. <laughs> when I finish this, you want to help me on the trailer? Yeah, sure. So I've got, I've got to unload. It's going to be fun. Righto, leave me alone. Let me eat my butter chicken. I finished up with the boys while Dad and Evie got stuck into the unpacking of the trailer. We'd actually been staying in another Airbnb closer to Perth for the last week while we scratched and clawed and tried to find ourselves a new home. We tried to make it all as light and fluffy as possible, so the babies were somewhat oblivious to it all. Obviously, Evie, being a 12-year-old, it hit her a bit harder. This is actually the second time in a week 
She's had to pack and unpack all her belongings into a small trailer. All settled in, but not well slept. The babies are so accustomed to sleeping in their own little nooks in their own bunks. We all hear every little noise each other makes throughout the night. And that is somewhat comforting to all of us. Since being out of a caravan, we've all really struggled with our sleeping. It's funny, because one would think we'd be excited to stay in an Airbnb, where we all have our own space. But in fact, we're so used to a caravan that a house just feels weird. We believe we no longer belong in a house and a caravan will be our home for a very long time. So we're in an Airbnb for about, uh, what, three nights. The other one? Yeah. yeah. It was like, it wasn't atrocious because like, we had a roof over our head. It was, it was good. It was a godsend, but it wasn't the best. It um, made us be able to get all of our stuff done anyway. The yeah. things we had to get done in the big smoke. So we've relocated here. Um, we're here for the next about week and then our new caravan arrives. Yeah, so exciting, but um, doesn't it just feel more right here? It does, it feels very And the homely. beach, beach is right there. Not in the city. I feel Not calmer. Not many people around. Um, There's a feel about so when, you're, when you're so remote for so long and when you're away from cities for so long, there's a certain feel about a city and there's a certain feel about 
not being in a city mm. and we might sound completely weird to you explaining it like that but I promise you or maybe it's just us but I know some of our friends that travel with us will know there's a there's there's a difference there's a difference in people there's a difference in culture there's a difference in feel there's the a difference air. in the air <laughs> yeah. is that what you were going to say next whoa yeah. we've never spoke about that no. I can't believe you just said that but, but like the air yeah. yeah I don't even know how to explain it yeah it's um there you go we've never spoken about yeah. that but this is not Play-Doh. <laughs> this is not Play-Doh. I'm talking to our friends and you're making Play-Doh out of your pikelet. <laughs> what? <Well, well, laughs> hey, you too, guys. <laughs> Don't play with your food, lads. Don't play with your food. Eat it, please. Put oh. it in your mouth, Lada. Put it in your mouth. By the way, Evie's still sound asleep. She's, She's so enjoying funny. her bed so much. Uh, Caravan beds just start the same, are they? Not only her bed, but <laughs> how much is she loving being in a room? Yeah, she even locks room. the door. Locks the door. No, I won't let her lock it. She shuts it. Ma! Yeah. Ma! Boys, I'm talking to they're our just, friends. They're ready? telling me that they're saying hello to them. You say hello to our Say hello. Friends. Hello to our friends. Go. Hello, friends. All of a hello. Anyway. Hello, big, big TV. Yeah. Big TV. We've got a big TV, everyone. I'll show you in a minute. Wakey wakey! Give her a cuddle, water. Is your bed comfy? Yes, it's so good. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's midday. Get out of bed. I know you enjoy your bed, but it's midday. It's so comfy. Look at this. Look. So much room for activities, huh? Yeah, it's so good. You can good. spread out. All right, let's go fix the truck. Stamping side where you roll it along and it does the stamp. Good boy, Wilder. No, take that off. It's not meant to come off though, that's meant to stay on. Okay. But we're going to fix this hole in the tyre. So the other day, we got a nail in the tyre from where. Um, where? From, just to see the hole here. Coming out of a campsite, so Alice is just playing with it. Yeah, that's it, we're going to clean it all out. So Alice is a bit of a master at it now. You know, this is exactly what to do. Let's show him, Ellis. Push this over here. Now we're going to clean it out, so push it in. Yeah. I can't. Got it, push it. Push. Yeah, we'll put some lube on him. Put some lube on him. So basically the patch wasn't holding too well, so I'm just going to put another temporary one in. We're going back into town, pick the caravan up in the next couple of days, and I'll get a... No, not that one, mate. I'll get a... a time of that problem, get it. Yeah. Ready? I'll put that in like this. Now you push, ready? Push, push, push. That's it. Uh, push. I'm gonna go a bit harder, hang on. Oh, why is that? Too? Ah, there we go, we got it. Now push hard on that, and I'll pull. Push it. That's it. Got it. Well done. High five, bro. Nice work, man. Did it. I try to involve him as much as I can in all this sort of stuff because I don't know. He's young, but you get most of it, eh? Now you know how to fix a tire. Let's get the compressor out and pump the tire back up, hey? Quick, go get the go get the hose. Let's do it all. You, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. By the time the kid's five, you'll be changing your tire or fixing your truck or breaking it like his dad. One of them. 
So I'm also gonna de-ice all the fridges and freezers. You wouldn't know this if you were normal and you lived in a house, like completely sane people, but all our friends that tour, all the travel traveling people that we know would know that your 12 volt fridges get a build up of ice around the freezers. So basically, once every two months, once a month, we strip everything out, we air the fridge out, you let the fr let the ice melt, or you chip it away. I get a hairdryer normally and get to set it on the hot setting and just melt it away so it happens quick, so I don't have all my food out in the open. Normally, I'd have to do the caravan, the, the draw fridge just here that we use as a freezer, and the stand-up fridge in the other side, but we're homeless, so I don't have to do the uh, caravan one. Looking at the bright side. <laughs> After getting all our jobs done and laying low for the past few days, the day has finally come that our new van is getting delivered. Come here. <laughs> I get pouring. Might have to cook one separate. So we like whipped up garlic butter with everything we didn't have. <laughs> we had a couple of cloves of garlic, some salt and butter. So I don't know how it's gonna go. We had uh, no kids, parsley, no nothing. The no, kids are hungry. The kids have had this new fascination with um, finding all of the the spices. Because <laughs> the spices have been in 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 arms arms reach for them while we're sort of oh, in between yeah. houses, and they've been tipping all of our spices everywhere. You need some. <laughs> so we had no yeah. parsley, herbs and spices. Oh. Yeah, we had no parsley. In other news. <laughs> Stop. What are you doing, cuz? You want to sit up? Sit up here then. Sit up. Sit down. There you go. In other news, we've got some very exciting news. We just got a phone call. So we're out here starting to cook. And what happened, Kyla? Our caravan's coming. Yeah, our caravan. Our new house. Literally 10 minutes away. It's about to pull up on the truck. So that's bloody exciting. Very bloody exciting for us. We've been following our saga about the whole caravan issue. We've probably been without a caravan for about a week and a half now. Yeah. yeah. We didn't actually know the caravan was coming today either, did we? No, literally. We so it was tomorrow. these cray, I was, uh, I got invited out by a couple of blokes this morning to go out. They're professional cray fishermen. They do it for a living. They work on big boats and they also have their own pots. They've got their own licenses and they invited me to go out. And well, I didn't really understand that there could be that many crayfish in one spot but basically they just handed us the full catch because they were absolute legends and i learned so much too like the, the stuff that they were explaining and you know the way they do it all is it's very interesting anyway we got a truckload of crayfish so uh, we're having crayfish for breakfast because we're spoiled um oh ellis is still up here knuckles so we're just gonna cruise along, eat some cray, and wait for our new caravan to get here. It's an exciting bloody morning. Hey Eve, you excited? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if I'm more excited for the cray or for the caravan. <laughs> you and me both. Well we thought the morning was gonna be cool with um just the crayfish. Yeah. Well we had our morning all planned out, didn't we? We did. We were meant to be going to play group for the boys while we were waiting for the caravan. It's meant to come tomorrow. It's going to be hot. <laughs> as soon as it touched my tongue. Oh my god, that was so good. Baby, get in your spot. Oh my god. Pull them off here, Mama. That is very, very nice.
I'm in my hair truck. Can I actually hear can a I truck he coming? Can you hear it? <laughs> Do you hear what? Oh, we got it, boys! We got it, boys! Hey, Dad. You wanna watch this? Hang on, hang on. Oh my god. We didn't have any parsley, so it doesn't look as good. Hold on, let me go this way. But it does taste very nice. Oh yeah, I haven't even tried it yet. And it's warm and it's perfect. It's just so good. Boys! We yell at them, at the people in the camera. Use your normal devil voice that you use. Boys! That's scary, that place. They're gone. Dad! Boys! Oh, how good is that it? That is so good. Is anyone watching what I'm about to do? Here? Oh. <laughs> oh, I want to, how do we do that? How do we do that? I love my life so much. How much would this cost I don't at know. a restaurant in Sydney? That there, five hundred bucks. <laughs> Not more than that. Six hundred bucks. Well, because you, you order like, cooked. you go to like a restaurant, and I'm not going to name the name, but a good restaurant in Cronulla, and you get that seafood food platter, and it gives you two measly little things. It's like 200 bucks for the whole seafood platter. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, but what I'm thinking. Oh, is, yeah. You're paying for this very cooks like this. I don't even know. I didn't want to talk about it. Honestly, if there's a heaven, I would just die and bundle. But this tastes better than those ones too. Fresh, wow. and we did what we wanted to it. Three hours ago, this was a lot. All right, and tell them what you're going to make the boys for lunch. For brunch. Popcorn cray. So the fellas that I went out so on the boat with, I was like picking their brains on recipes and you know how they store their crayfish and blah 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 because they catch so many. Um, they said to try popcorn cray, which I'll cook them the boys for lunch because I think it's chicken, and then I can have them eat them crayfish. Ellis is eating crayfish. Look, it's actually his first time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you think about it. Do you like it? Is it yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Good chat. We waited for what seems like an eternity. And then, when we let our guard down, it arrived. We were expecting it to arrive on a large truck and that we'd be able to hear it coming from a mile away. But instead, it arrived in stealth mode. You want it? Back it straight up in there, mate. Next to, next to the truck there, yeah. Very easy. That's quite bad. How good do the tinted windows look? Yeah, I know, right? Come on, Mata. Over this way, mate. I thought it was going to be on a truck. Yeah, same. Well, we're going in Dabbit. Yes, that's going to be our new home for a little bit, Bubby. Stop there. Can you see that? Just getting a bit close, that's all. Go forward a little bit. And I'll move it across. He's, he's getting close to us. Whatever you do, do not knock our crayfish off of our bench. <laughs> Yeah, he's backing it up. So it's in our front yard. Yeah. 
That's good, mate. Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, what very excited. What'd you say? Yeah, it's our party. This so is ours. We can, live we can live here again. For our weather, I don't know what that is. That's a GPA thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we haven't seen this caravan. We sort of just bought it off photos because we're so desperate. And it's very sexy. It's very tough. I like it. Do the honors? Unlock it? Oh yeah. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. Oh no, this is maximum load of 200 kilograms on this step, Dad. I'm not gonna be able to. What's he been touching already? Oh my God. <laughs> Papa. What, what happened? Yeah. So, um... The boys have already grabbed the grease nipple. Look at this. <laughs> grease nipple? <laughs> Show me your hands. Hold him up. Hold him up. <laughs> right, you have to wait outside. He's not allowed to come in. <laughs> right, who's opening the door? Mom. Me. Are we washing his hands before we go in? Oh, huh. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Well, so, we're going to sell this caravan in about how many months, Kyla? Four months? Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to behave. Yeah, I was going to say, let it be noted here and now. We're going to look after this thing. We're not getting pinstripes down it. We're not taking it through the Simpson Desert. We're not going to flip it sideways on the boggy hole track. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> it's four months, Dad. Let's just behave for four months. And Plus, we've got a baby coming. Yeah, so. stopping for Christmas. Yeah. yeah, so maybe I'll behave just for a tap. And we have family coming over in a Winnebago, and they're not going to be able to go to those crazy spots anyway. So I think we'll just be able to surely play it cool. Oh, you can't. We'll you calm and collect it a little bit. I need to wipe this kid's hands, and I have nothing in here to wipe. I think I'm going to cry. I'll go inside and get some. Oh. Nice. Different profile. Yeah. So this is the first time, I know I've already said this, this is literally the very first time we've ever seen this caravan. Yeah, can you hold so, him? Do I have to hold him or? Yeah, yeah come here, Bubba. Maybe someone. Yeah, say hello to our friends. Yes, we, we basically just um, oh my God, took what we could get, didn't we? Yeah. We wanted to buy it from the, the main office, the factory, and we just needed something with some bunks. Let's go in the caravan. And this is the one. No, and we went with Wonderland because we've had a Wonderland before. And we know that they're good. We know. I don't think we had like some of the most minute. We're talking to our friends. We had some of the most minute problems, like I think a water pump failed in the last one year, like 16 months. So let's go. Are we ready? I'm born ready, Cookie. I was born ready, Cookie. You know what? We've been unlocked this whole time. Wait, are you locked? Remember our last one didn't work? Oh yeah, who's going? Go, Ellis. Go, Bubba. Oh, go, oh, Evie. Go. Wait on the table. Quick. Whoa, boys. Quick, quick, well, quick, girls. I shit you not. It looks exactly the same as our other one. It does. Our yeah. first one or our second one? It's you, both of them combined, I think. Go, oh. I don't want a bum shot of my bum as I'm it's going. No, you're not. Just you do that. Get in. I'll help you. Wait. <laughs> we got windows on our things. Look Mirrors on our things. Oh, the hallway is really wide. Just go easy. The stabilizer legs aren't down there. Yes, that's your bed, Bubby. Okay. No, no, you're on the other side, Cobbo. Yeah, you're always on the other side. I was going to try and flip him because the new van, the new van's going to be different. He's going to be have to be on that side. So, so Ellis is up the top now. Um. Oh, 
They've got nets for it. I told you she threw nets in. You didn't. You yeah. couldn't explain it properly. You didn't know what it was. So the the owner of Wonderland has been super super helpful. Um, and I didn't pick up my phone because I was busy one day, so she just threw a whole bunch of extras in there just to make sure we we're comfortable. So, Anna, if you're watching, you're late. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, so can we turn our lights on? We have a cooktop in our caravan again. Oh my God. We opted for no cooktop last time, and we opted for no cooktop next time. So let's just make the most of having a cooktop in our van. This well, shower is massive. I'm a bit nervous to use this, actually. Really? This shower is actually very big. Oh my god, we've got a full length pantry. Yeah! Yeah! It is big. It's very nice. Well, how do you turn these lights on? Boys! How do you turn these lights on? Uh, same as the last time. Are they not working? Righto, Mum. We'll probably have to flip Mom, the switch. Hold this. Here's the new rules, alright? Here's the new rules. Ellis, this is your bed. Jump up, jump, oh, climb up in your Dad, bed. Dad, he's not sleeping in that tonight. He, this is not his bed in this caravan. What do you mean? He'll fall out of that. We'll put the put things up. The We've got barriers for the it. Net does, the net, can I intervene here? We need to talk about this. Why are you always safety, Sam? Ellis, you're on the roof. No, I'm not on the roof. I'm down here. You want to be down there? You don't want to sleep in this one? No. Why? Because I'm going to fall down. You're only going to fall down because your mother just convinced you you're going to fall down. <laughs> Whoa! What's this thing? Look at the four-way pantry. <laughs> no. All right, let's just check if this is a nice bed. A <laughs> Wonderland bed. Yeah. I can't tell because we're leaning down here. I was going to say, you look like ah. you're leaning down here. Also, the light ah. is in your eyes. Ah. Look at our mirrors oh, on our bedside tables. Oh, oh, wow. What's that? Is that the BRS? Yeah, I'd say so. Wait. Oh, Stuff can go on here. Oh, Whoa, boy. I'm not gonna. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom! Don't jump on that, please. Oh, I can see you. Ah. Ah. I don't know these handles. Tell you the truth. I can't get that to see this one. I want these lights to look on my nose. Boys, come out for a sec. Yeah, the towel's not on yet. Yeah, Feels so big in here. Whoa. Look at our back splash. Splash like back. our very splash back. Our very first caravan had that. Yeah. Press tin. Shout the mark. Oh, but no, they filled it up. Packed up. It's not dumb. <laughs> Whoa, oh, this is these cool. Mirrors. I really like the. Oh, those windows are huge. Oh, and it just magnets. They're our, they're our old, they're our old type it of just window Just magnets. Ones. It doesn't have the cheap the shit clip. little clear. But I do like that the ones off. that were flat. Yeah, These ones that were flat. Like the concertina. Boy, be quiet, you. Open them. And then God said, "Let there be light." Oh. Ooh. Hey, this oh. is actually really high. Look at your head. From yeah. Because like we got our. Heightened because oh, of the yeah. But this seems even higher than that. Yeah. Look at these. Yeah, what's and with this? That? Oh, yeah, I love those big roof hatches. Sad Ooh, life. And oh, oh, yeah. I deleted them. Well, what do you want? Solar inside. or roof hatches? A roof hatch. <laughs> what is it, Wada? <laughs> you boys are pretty happy, huh? Are we going to have breakfast here? Yeah, we'll have breakfast here tomorrow. We've already had our breakfast. They've today. been so they've been so weird, like their sleeping routines and everything. They wake up like screaming in the middle of the night because they don't yeah. know where they are. They're having night terrors, aren't they? Yeah, they're not used to that. Can you take this off? Mm. Uh, I'll take it off later because you're going to jump all over it and dirty it otherwise. What do you reckon? Pretty good. What do you reckon? Sicko. Sicko. What do you reckon? Sicko. 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 What do I reckon? Mom, what's your name? We had crayfish. We had crayfish. We had crayfish for breakfast. We just got a well, brand new caravan. Was that a bit? Was that a bit? Huh? That's a bit. The hole. I was trying to pull it. All oh, right, open it. Pull it. Go. It's like a present. Open it. Come on, Dad. What do you reckon? It's bloody good. We live a bloody good life. We're very lucky. This feels more like home. Here we are, Wonderland. <laughs> and to all you buyers out there. We're just going to reiterate, we are going to look after this thing. We did look after our luck. Whoa! 
We did look after our last caravan. We just used it. We just used the heck out of it. We lived in it. Lived. But we, yeah, we're going to really extra look after this one. So if anyone wants to buy it at the end, it's going to be like near new, right? I'm going to drive maximum 40 on the freeway. And only freeways. Only freeways. No Oi, mum. Oi, mum. Oh, how did that break his arm? Like, I just watched his arm pop. Yeah. Oh, my God. What is that? It's an awning thing. Oh, yes! We've been wanting one of those. What's this? What's happened? And do you know? Yeah, we have. We've been meeting oh, to buy one. Oh, here's that thing. What's this? Here's Why, what's this? Yeah, I was looking for that. Why, what's that this? Thing. It's lolly, so let's, have, let's open them. Chocolates. Uh, there was also another thing that Evie reminded me of. Yeah, we threw out our muck mats. And we haven't reordered any, so... We have to get onto that. Not the muck mats! We found Evie a um a new bed. Which mean Evie's a te teenager in how long? Mm. Two, months. Months. Two months. And she's she's gone into the stage where young women become Mom, difficult to parent. So as punishment. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's actually really cool. I was gonna say I've got something in my back. I think she likes it in there. It's not a punishment. There we go. Yeah, then. <laughs> then, what's the first thing we did? Yep, you guessed it. We took the new van down the dirt roads for its maiden voyage. We can't help ourselves. On our way to a small coastal town called Lancelin. Here, we're now onto the next chapter of our lives with our new home in tow. As we said at the start, you can't kick us down and keep us there. On to bigger and better things. We're grateful now to not be homeless. Now I'm going to teach you to TikTok. Now, some of the things that didn't make the cut this week. How was that, Was that? Also, we're still finding files on our external hard drive that got corrupt when we lost everything off our hard drive. So it's still a bit sad life about our hard drive situation. Yeah, the whole Hopefully basically. Hopefully that's behind us soon. <laughs> you'll be watching. This will be like episode uh, season three or like West the, season, the West Side uh, series. And we basically lost all of series two. We had to like scrounge and pick and claw to yeah. get a series two together. Mum was heartbroken. Yeah, I made what I could out of them. Sorry guys, but still got to see most of our major bits. Just didn't see all the angles, like all the really good footage that we had from the from the better cameras. We kind of lost. So got Absolutely. the basic storylines of our yeah. We were. We were gutted about that because it's not exactly an easy task filming things and you know prepping no. yourself up, getting certain things sorted, like young kids, blah blah blah. So it's it's a bit of a bit of a gig. So to lose it all in one foul swoop and only just be able to salvage what what do you reckon we salvaged? One third well, of it. So I told a third of it less. Yeah. yeah. Well, a third of yeah. Plus you were chronically morning sick. Right, we battled. <laughs> we battled. We, battled. we absolutely battled through that series. We're back, back from the dead. We've got some crazy stuff. Yeah. Absolutely crazy stuff. Maybe you've already seen it. Maybe we've already posted it. I don't know how it's going to work. But By the way, back. we have no plan when it comes to these things. No, nah, we literally. You're just seeing us as it happens. We find a spot and we go. Tell you what, it'd be really cool if we go kneeboarding off the back yeah. of the truck and we do something stupid like that. And so. um and. Are we? <laughs> Yeah. And then mum nearly kills me because she goes way too fast. Like, I tell her to go a little bit faster. And next minute, we're at 120 on the beach. <laughs> I'm on the back in the kneeboard. I'm like, oh, I've got children. Papers. Turn it around and talk Fire to the water. Yeah. Oh, we've got Did a we do it, we Yeah. Put it on you. Mum. There we go. We're going to save for day. Turn it around to face you. This way. There you go. Mm. Now say it. 
Yeah, leave it like that. Now hold it up and say it. Big day anyway with the size of the spotties we've got on the front. And we just cruise along, oh, man. 80 on the freeway. On the tree. You can do wheeze on a tree. Yes. You learn what have you learned in the last couple of days? You can do wheeze on the tree. You learn how to snorkel and swim. Do you remember snorkeling with the fishies? Yeah. And you're about to have your birthday. And you're about to have your birthday. And I you won't ride a scooter, have cars. ride a bike, what? He's trying to get in the ice cream. And the <laughs> Sorry, Ellis. Sorry, I know you were talking, mate. Go. Now Ellis is yeah, trying to get in it. <laughs> oh. Um, so we just before you go, and then okay, he turns three. And then he turns three. Are you, are you sure again, boys? <laughs> Good boy. Are you excited? Oh, are you sure again, boys? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say you, you boys are excited. He's down there playing with the frame. Yeah, do you know what that is? That's the we've got a grill, a grill up now. And this is whole our cabin. You cannot actually catch up to us. What is that? Which is, oh, I can actually show you the bed. Yeah, show them. Wait, wait. Come on. Look at that. We finally got our house. Wait, the toilet's tiny. And we actually got that. We actually got a washing machine there. We got lots of things we need to do. Got that and stuff. Which way? All right, I'm talking to our friends now, ready? Do you want to say anything? We'll say something. Happy birthday! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's your birthday soon, isn't it, Barb? Two more days. It's my birthday! Well, it is, it's his birthday next after Ellis. <laughs> Ouch, yeah, my lips are all burnt. Look. I can lick them. You can lick them. <laughs>